Ugh. I don't know if this is gonna work. Average everyday uh, portable oscilloscope. Oh, freaking crap! Oh. It's all about these cables, boys and girls. All about these cables. You'll figure it out in a minute. What's up, everybody? Sorry for the poor lighting or whatever's going on right now, but I'm outside. It's really late at night. And I really want to make this video. So here's what I'm going to do. I've got some stuff in the background as you can see right here. And this stuff actually came from Los Alamos Laboratories. Now it was acquired by Mr. Puckta, David Puckta. It was acquired previously before that from a man named, um, oh boy. Ah, I remember. Paul Pantone. So Paul Pantone somehow got a hold of all this equipment before he passed away. Rest in peace, my friend. And, um, uh, yeah, so somehow he acquired it, and somehow David Puck acquired it, and somehow now I have just a few pieces. So this is a giant oscilloscope, some stuff, pulse plasma stuff back there, power supply, and another power supply. So I'm going to get through these things one video at a time. I'm basically going to show you what everything I got here. I'm going to take it apart, I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to turn it on and see if it works. The only reason I'm really making this video is because David wants these cables back and I would like to see if that high voltage power supply actually works. I haven't had time and I want to use it. So I'm just going to make all of these videos right now. There may be one or two or three parts in this series so sit back, relax and uh, enjoy the ride. Let's see what we got. Well first things first, we're going to get started with the capacitors. So, I have a couple of capacitors that David gave me. Uh, 12,500 volts DC at 0.1 microfarad. This is a 118 volt input, 15 kilovolts DC output at 1.5 milliamps. This actually might be what I need for what I'm trying to do. Just a high voltage transformer. This is a uh, 0.2 UF 6000 volt DC capacitor and this is yeah this is a DC output so it's internally rectified apparently that's actually really nice uh, 900 or 90 microfarad uh, I do not know what voltage that is it does not say this is pretty cool this is actually really cool this is a Maxwell capacitor it is 0 0.01 UF at 50,000 volts. That's crazy. That's crazy. It says measured cap at 0 .0091 UF. Anyway, uh, that's a pretty cool capacitor. It's got two leads on the top, isolated by a huge uh, voltage insulator here so that you can't get any arcing across it. It's pretty wild. I actually haven't even checked this one and seeing if it uh, is still a good cap. All right. Next up, we got some uh, uh, pancake capacitors. Looks like it's been dropped, huh? 900 picofarad, they say. I don't know if that's true. Little number on them. Brass ball on this side. They're on a brass rod, probably threaded together. Uh, that goes to this big thing. And this guy right here. So this is uh, a voltage multiplier. So those are diodes across there and capacitors. And basically these are, there you can see them, 1000 picofarad, 20,000 volts. Uh, the diodes, there you go. I don't know if that means anything for you. I don't know if I, I think I looked those up, I couldn't find them. But uh, basically this is for a Marx generator. If you don't know what that is, you can look it up. But you discharge a single capacitor into this side, or a bank of capacitors into this side, and it will multiply the voltage, and at the output you'll get a multiplication for each section. I say we uh, 
maybe even hook one of these bad boys up and see if we can discharge it. But anyway, um, the other thing I got in this little collection, this is a, you got to remember all this equipment came from a pulse plasma physics lab. So these are all pulse plasma equipment. So here is a disc with a little nub on the end of it. Probably a special material of some kind, I imagine. I'm sure it's not just stainless. And uh, inside of here you have a, a center ring which is actually attached to this electrical outlet. Or pipe, I should say, that is connected through the copper line into the inside of this boy. Bad boy. Okay, and on the other side you got the same thing. So this side you apply, uh, this is your your input or output, this is your input or output, and the center plate that's inside of there is basically your discharge. So you put an inert gas inside of here, and you apply half the voltage that you have across here. So if you have 30,000 volts across this plate and this plate, then you discharge 15,000 volts into it, and it will allow the transfer of the high voltage. So this is actually a uh, switch, a high voltage switch. I uh, forgot the proper name on top of my head, but uh, basically it's a high voltage switch. So we'll put this one back together. Now what's pretty cool is that I have, this is one that was taken apart and it's in pieces. However, I happen to have a brand new one in that box. David had a whole bunch of them, so I asked him if I could have one. So let's have a look inside that box. All right, let's see what we got in here. So, there we go. High voltage, Maxwell high voltage spark gap switch model number 40184. 20 to 35,000 volts, maximum peak current, 50,000 amps. And here's your discharge curve, voltage operating, synthetic air and PSIG, so you pressurize or you can put an air gas in there. Here is some wiring diagrams on the back. Let me get you a let me get you a good shot of that. You should, you should be able to read this pretty well. There it is. Here's the back. So again, this came from a pulse plasma physics lab. Um, tested in 5489, 1989. That's pretty crazy. Leak test up to 75 psi. 19 to 24 kilovolt static breakdown test. Yep. So let's see what's in the box. There it is. Nice packaging, eh? So this one has a a mounting disc, I assume, so you can mount it. So actually, this one has a, a separate, maybe a separate discharge rod here, according to the schematic. Yeah, you have, uh, oh, maybe one side's your in and your out. Your load, yeah. yeah. It depends on how you hook it up to, but, uh, engraved serial numbers into that bad boy here and on the plastic a little copper copper line where you put your your air into argon whatever it is you use that right there my friends is going to come in handy when I really need it and that used one should probably still work just need to test it Definitely be saving that for a day when we're ready for some serious fun. All right, so I have one more thing in a box here, and I'm going to try to get the shot from this angle and see if it works. This is a uh, a tube. So I uh, thought it was pretty neat 
There was so many tubes. I just picked one that I thought was pretty cool. Thought, eh, maybe it's worth something one day. I can use it for a project. Oh, that's a fancy looking jobby, huh? Look at that. So I actually don't know what uh, what kind this is. It's a VT dash. 127-A. I remember looking it up a while back, but I can't remember. Uh, that's going to be hard to read. I can't remember what it was, but uh, it sure is pretty. There's a spiral inside a spiral in there. Let's see if I can get in there and see that. That's uh, it's pretty cool. Filament and uh, I don't know if it's a rectifier. I don't know what it is. Discharge. I don't know. I'm not real sure. I need to look it up, but uh, I'll let you guys do that in the comments. Helicopters. Okay, they're not looking for me. So, that was pretty well. All of the goodies, the little stuff. And I think I'm going to go ahead and make this a three-part video. So, go ahead and look for the uh, second video. And it'll be about this uh, really crazy, ginormous oscilloscope. I mean, this thing is huge. And what's really cool about this is it's actually made for Na uh, Los Alamos National Labs. This is just a separate unit. Look how long this thing is. <laughs> it weighs a brick. And you know what's really cool? That's the power supply for it. Wow. Wow. Alright, see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks again to David for letting me... Uh forever borrow some of this cool stuff from National or Los, Al Los Alamos National Laboratories Pulse Plasma Physics alright come back for some more it should be fun see ya